see that? Yeah, I got that. My name is B-Ball Dude, and here I'm gonna be talking about a little bit of basketball, and not only that, but how we can relate it to geometry. Basketball and geometry, really? Let me show you. If you come out here, and just kind of take a look at the floor, what is this shape that kind of connects to the top? Here's the center. What does that make? That's right, it makes a semicircle. Okay, now if we look at these two lines here on the outside, this one right here compared to this one here, what are those making? Those are actually parallel lines that eventually connect to the semicircle. So then what else do we have? We've got this shape right here. It's actually a rectangle. And we have other small ones here and here. And then, what else do we have? We've got these red lines down here that are actually parallel to the baseline. And then on this other side, we've got some of the same stuff. So as you can see, Basketball is full of geometry. If you look up at the hoop, what do we have? We've got a square. Where do you shoot the bas where you shoot the basketball at? And what is that square, that white square attached to? It's actually attached to a backboard, which is what? That is a rectangle in itself. What are we shooting the basketball into? We're shooting it into a hoop. Which, if you look at the rim, what shape is the rim? It's actually circular. So then, if you continue to take a look all throughout basketball, it all has geometry involved into it. What is this that I'm holding right here? Yeah, of course, it's a basketball. But really, what is it? It's a sphere. Not a circle, but a sphere. It can bounce. It's three-dimensional. You can eventually shoot it into the hoop, into the circle. So if you look around, there's geometry everywhere in basketball. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the geometry aspect of an actual player. Now how can a player actually have geometric shapes? Well let me show you. If I'm playing defense on somebody, and I'm standing like this, what I guess resembles the bottom half of my legs. They eventually resemble two parallel lines being apart from each other. Now what about when I shoot? When I shoot, I'm going to stop about middle of my motion and I want you to look at my arms for a minute, specifically the one where the ball is being held at. If I'm going to shoot and I stop right here, what does this roughly resemble? it roughly resembles a 90 degree angle. So isn't that cool? And then eventually if you shoot the ball at the backboard, what do I have to shoot it on? I have to shoot that on an angle. So as you can see, on a basketball court and also in basketball itself as a player, we all have characteristics that are, I guess, um, part of the geometry world. So, how neat is that? So what I want you guys to do is we're gonna take a big pan shot of the court itself, and then of the backboard, and of the rim, and I want you to see if you can find something else, some other properties of geometry. Take a look at the floor, and then take a look at the backboard. So what did you guys notice? Did you notice anything else that I may not have picked up? So what we're going to be talking about in future lessons is we're going to be talking about different shapes, different angles, different characteristics of other shapes and geometry. So I believe that's about it. So as you can see, we have plenty to talk about in future lessons. And I hope you guys all learned something.